Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today we're learning about weather. Nice! The sun has actually risen now. So over here we have land and we have water. Wow, so many clouds. Let's see the barrage of them. Mm. Anyhow. What actually happens in the real water cycle though? We have three stages, evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Evaporation happens when the sun heats up water. Condensation happens when evaporation comes up and the gas is so small, the gas's molecules are so small and so clumped up, they form into a cloud. And precipitation is just rain or snow or anything really. Watch, I'll show you. I'll just make one cloud or Maybe a lot. And you can see how the clouds drift to their location. They get darker and darker until this happens. They rain and they shrink. So rain is just a cloud's demise, and look at that, a new river was formed. Pretty cool, huh? Now, how does the sun really affect temperature anyways? Let's check this out. So we've got a house and in hot air, it's really hot outside now, in hot air, Air molecules don't really stop moving and they're super violent, crashing into each other every single time they get a chance to. But if we make it cold, let's spot a difference. I guess we can see one. The trees start to wilt their leaves, it becomes cold, and when the air is cold, guess what? The molecules don't move as fast. Usually when dogs, usually all of us have some kind of reflex to help us. As for us, we usually shiver. And when it's hot, we don't pant, but we usually sweat. When it's way too hot, plants can wilt. And when it's way too cold, the plants will freeze. Sheesh. What happens to water whenever the temperature drops? When the temperature drops, it becomes ice. Going up a bit, it forms back into water. But when it's super high, there's no bubbles because all of them have just escaped. Let's check out how precipitation works. It's pretty snowy, is it? Huh. How does a snowflake even form? Well, ice clumps together to form what becomes a snowflake and then it falls. This happens many times, many, many times. Let's heat it up and see what changes can happen. Why does rain happen? Well, Rain happens basically the same way <laughs> uh, snow does, really. Mm. 
these water things keep on smashing into each other. And once it gets big enough, it forms into a water draw. Actually, all our rain is kind of dirty, though. Be only because of the fact that if, ra if rain happens, that means there's dirt inside. Because water can't get to the sides of a raindrop if there's no impurities to help it stick. Anyways, this is what water molecules look like when they're warmed up. But if you add some cold air, this is what they look like when it's cold. They instantly bond to each other and they don't stop. It's hard to get these things to rip off. Basically, breaking ice. How does a hurricane even form? Ah, there's nothing really. Now we can see here that warm air goes up and releases water vapor. Now, warm air rises fast over tropical waters now. Now, tropical storms have formed. As wind speeds increase, a tropical storm eventually turns into a hurricane. So, how much does a hurricane do damage? It can do around this much damage. A hurricane can deal about this much damage. How would you stay safe in a hurricane? I want to see your answers in the comments below. Just to see if you're smart enough to figure out how to survive here. Oh yeah, and this thing is called an anemometer. Basically, it measures how fast the wind goes and the house dies. Yep, that's super powerful. But how does a tornado form? When warm air rises fast over land with lots of warm water vapor, thunderstorms can form. Sometimes air starts to spin around the thunderstorm, forming a supercell. Supercells can eventually then turn into a tornado. And this is a supercell. Tons of lightning and oh my god, that's a ton. that's a lot of stuff. This is warm, wet air rising, not just warm air, warm, wet air. Now, how much damage can tornadoes deal? They can't really deal that much damage, though. Only because this is based off a literal storm. A, co a tornado is a column of fast spinning wind. The winds in a tornado can be as fast as 100 to 300 miles per hour. More than 300 kilometers per hour. Faster than anything can go. And last but not least the pure and the beautiful, the cloud. Well, what type of clouds come up at, uh, what type of clouds come up near the ground? Stratus clouds. These clouds are near the ground. When you go a bit higher, you get cumulus clouds. A bit higher, you still get cumulus clouds. And you go to your max, and you get cirrus clouds. Beautiful. Just beautiful. 
Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.